Welcome back to this week's video. In this video, we're going to go through the workshop. Now I mentioned this in another video and we got quite a few messages on Instagram asking to see the workshop. But just showing the workshop is a little bit boring. Plus, it's also just an absolute crap hole at the minute. So, for example, that's what it currently looks like. I guess first port of call, we need to get that workbench moved out there because we've got a crap ton of that racking to go all the way across the back. Um, because then most of this is van parts or camping stuff or bits and bobs like that. So if we can get all that racking built, we can then get all this onto the racks and then we should be good to go to get onto other things. Um, but yeah. Let's set time locks up and uh, let's get this sorted out. I like that. We've got a wall of racking. But one big issue that we've got is if we look down the racking, you can see it's all at different points. So you probably see better up the top like that. Now essentially, this floor rolls away from the wall. So what we're gonna have to do is make little chocks to go under each sort of pair of feet. Because what I always do with these is, if you go to here, you can see there's holes. And obviously you can bolt them together, make it one big solid structure, makes it all stronger. Um, and yeah, it's the same thing that I've done with those over there. We'll do with these here. Eventually, this bench is going to come out. So we should be able to get one more there. And then we've got some new benches to build because these kitchen cupboards are all starting to fall apart. Not that you can see it under my absolute mass pile of crap. That's a table saw. You can just see it there. So it is simple as just putting a few bolts up in there to attach them together will make the absolute world of difference. So let's get them tightened up. Job's a good one. There's one good thing about doing a van build. We've got to shim the shelves. Obviously you end up with a load of random offcuts like this 12mm ply. Let's cut it into chunks and then stack it under each foot to bring the shelves back up to straight because that way nothing ends up falling over but now that they're all bolted together they're a lot more sturdy than when they are individually and there we have five little shims to go under each one of these legs so let's get them in There we go, so we're all shimmed all the way along, which makes the racking stand up straight against the wall. <clears throat> so I reckon now we can start filling it. Obviously I've left a lot of the shelves off, not entirely sure where I want things yet, so we'll sort of figure that out as we go and we'll put some shelves in. So, I bought this as a bit of an impulse purchase. It's essentially a rear door locker for a van. Um, Realised that our hinges aren't strong enough without getting a rack built for it, so it's just sort of sat in our workshop. But, it was a good deal. Um, and I know men say this all the time, oh it was a good deal, I had to buy it. Um, these were on eBay for 100 quid, And it's decently sized as well. So I couldn't really pass it up at that. The issue is that now it's in the workshop and it's surrounded by crap. I'm really scared about it getting scratched. But also I don't want to mount it on the van because it'll stretch the hinges. But for the minute we need to try and keep it covered up and scratch free. 
um, because at the minute I've so I've managed to do it. Ah, the accumulation of parts. <laughs> Okay, so we've now got this workbench moved out the way um, and now we've got to start on this. Um, there's a multitude of stuff in there from stuff that came on our little van like this fuse board panel thing. There's the Mrs. Grandparents old microwave because I thought the fascia might be useful for the van to trim the edge. Um, multitude of tools, parts, uh, more tools, more parts. I think if we start sorting it all this out, then work our way across here, and then we can move that over and then start going through the bench because all these benches are getting ripped out and we're putting new ones in. Now, so you may have been asking that last time that there was stuff that got thrown away that maybe people thought might have been wasteful. Um, I found evidence of rats. So anything that's been on the floor, especially sort of in this back corner area, has been put in the bin, mainly because the more I move, the more you can start to smell them. So I've got rid of that. I'm about to go home and pick up some bleach solutions. So we'll mix some water and bleach up. Spray all down here. I can't actually find the rat and I've not seen the rat move around. I reckon that's about enough for today. It's the first time I've seen the top of that table saw in, well, a year, probably. Um, we've got a significant amount of stuff starting to accrue on the rack. Um, tomorrow, we'll come back bright and early, we'll tackle all of this, and then this. One thing I would like to do tomorrow is get all these cupboards broken down. We'll see if we get time for that. We may have to wait till in the week when we're going to get some new timber and then we can make new benches to go down there. Um, but yeah, for today, that's as far as we're getting. So now that we've made a crap ton more mess, um, yeah, it's time to start demolition on all this. Let's get on. So, demo's completed. I reckon it's time to start on some white benches. But luckily, you don't have to sit through that. So let's get them in. So in typical me fashion, I thought I had enough wood to do tops and shelves. I have enough to do a top at best. So I think that's enough for today because I've also just managed to slice my hand properly open uh, on some chipboard. So we're going to finish here for today, try and get that to clean and heal a bit. And then we'll pop to B&Q in the morning, get some more wood, and then we'll be back down here to crack on with the workbenches and try and sort out the rest of this crap. So we'll catch you in the morning on our way to B&Q. Let's go.
had a little bit, as you've seen, we've just been to B&Q. Um, it's now the next day and we've got one top on the workbench, mainly because I've still had this cupboard that was here to get out. So that's gone, these are in. I need to put a shelf along the bottom, which will then allow me to free up a lot of this up onto there. So let's get the other one done. Let's get that moved in and let's crack on. new lathe corner so I've got a wood lathe that I've had for a while part of it down there uh, that I need to get built up because to be honest I want to use it again and with this whole workshop revamp it's designed more to do little projects and stuff like that and the aim is to have this as a tool bench along here double sided lathe here miter saw over there and then that bench there will be sort of your split down and rebuild sort of bench so if you want to rebuild a turbo or whatever, you've got bench space, you can use that over there. So long since this has been together, I've got no idea where it goes or where half the bolts are. We have acquired new bolts. It's been a while since I've checked in because, to be honest, I feel like I'm not really getting anywhere. There's just still a lot of stuff. But we've got the bench in here, we've got the bench in along there, table saw is gonna move next to the miter saw, and then we've got all the racking in that back corner. So, I think now everything's sort of where it's meant to be. I can start tidying. Yeah, I came down at nine. We've been, I did about an hour, got the workbenches nearly built, and then started working on the Mrs. Car again. A mini is the bane of my existence at the minute. Spent till about one o'clock, I think it was, on that. So about three hours. And then from one, I've just been smashing this. And I don't feel like I've really got anywhere. It's now five. But everything's in its place. So, end of day three, I think it is. Um, massive transformation. If I stand by the door, you can probably see it. So, yeah. All new benches in, we've got the tool in, tidied up over there. Got the other rack in, which became a mute point, uh, as I told you guys. Lots and lots of wood <laughs> up on the rack. Um, yeah, I think we've cleared out about 12 to 13 bin bags out of the unit today. Um, and there's still, obviously, a lot of tidying to go. As you can see, here we've got fishing rods and stuff to put away, we've got loaded bike parts, frames to figure out what I'm gonna do with, because I don't know if I'm keeping all of them. Um, but yeah, loads of stuff. I can't believe the space that's in here now. So, now that it's all sorted, Let's show you around. So let's start with outside the workshop. We've got a two poster, three and a half ton lift. 
which currently has the Mrs. Car on it once again. If anyone's thinking about buying a Mini, just use this as a reason not to, because we're currently battling a crank sensor, which means we might have to pull the engine again. Fantastic. So, that's what we've got out here. We're in a barn. It's shared units all around. It's not all ours, just to break a few hearts before we go. We have got quite a large section of it between all of us, which houses all sorts from, we've got some tire changing bits, we've got the lift, and then we've got a lot of our own tools, woodworking and mechanical. So let's go inside and let's show you around. So this is my workshop. So it's a five meter by five meter box, all sort of OSB boarded out and nicely done. We've got our new workbenches. We've got two two foot by eight foot benches which are on casters so they can move around. There are all kinds of different tools on and whatever else. We've got our miter saw station over here with a router bench underneath, and we've got our big table saw. Above it, we've got all of our wood storage, and then over here, we've got all of our mechanical stuff. So up on the wall, you've got all your, your rugged duggers, your angle grinders, box full of tools, and a lot of the mechanical sort of bits and bobs. If you step over this way, we've got all our new racking, which you've seen us build. So this is everything, really. We've got all sorts from camping gear to car cleaning stuff to petrol cans with four-year-old petrol in, thinking about it. Um, we've got all kinds of electrical stuff for van builds. We've got more wiring, general stuff. We've got a spare fridge. We've got loads and loads of water system stuff, more electrical, light fittings. Just all sorts, really. We've also got our new lathe. So, well, it's not new. We've got my lathe <laughs> set up in the corner with all the tools above. Now, if, I don't know if anyone else is the same. We like to have music down here. So we've got two big Technic speakers hooked up to a Sony radio that just hides in the back there behind the tools. On the benches, we have got bandsaw, pillar drill, we've got two bench grinders with different discs in, and then eventually we've got a vice which is currently over there, that I haven't had time to fit yet, that'll be going on there. So, as you can see, we've now got masses of space in places, which before was just a huge pile of crap in the middle of the floor with a tiny little gangway down the middle to the mitre saw that was there. And now it is all sorted out. We've got space around everything. If we need more space, we can push the benches out of the way. Basically everything now, except the lathe, is on wheels. So that is a fantastic bonus. But yeah, this is the finished article. So, let's hit the tasty B-roll. So guys, I hope you've really enjoyed this. It's been a lot of hard work. It's taken probably the best part of two weeks to do it. A couple of cuts and whatever else. But it is finally tidy and we can't wait to start doing some more small projects in here for the van and a few other things as well that we might have on the side. But I'd just like to thank everyone for watching this video. Uh, remember to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.